we don't have a full list of all the houses. But since the Iron Islands are the poorest region of the Seven Kingdoms it is safe to assume that most noble houses in the Iron Islands can be considered poor. Certainly by mainland standards. It is stated that House Westerling is quite poor. With more pride than power. And they won't be the only mainland house which is poor. Everyone has talked about quite low houses so here's an overlooked one that must be significantly poorer than other houses of its rank. House Mormont. House Mormont had been quite rich before Jorah's marriage to Liness, which means they are probably quite high ranking. Despite being a moderately high up house, Mormont is probably still quite poor. Jorah spent everything his house had, and more to appease his wife, Liness Hightower. He was in debt when he fled Westeros, he had attempted to sell poachers as slaves, just for a little coin. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. Many years elapsed between Jorah's departure and the beginning of GOT, but Mormont was in a lot of debt, and this would have taken years to pay off, especially as Mormont is quite small. So Mormont is probably a lot poorer than other houses of their rank. There's a house described in the Sworn Sword novella, House Osprey, that is just a sad old man with a collapsing tower and two sworn fighters to his name. They're the poorest named house, competing maybe with House Baelish during the time of Peter's father, just a house on a strip of rocks. As far as keeps go, I was not impressed by the fingers. They can't even afford proper food. No wonder Tully wasn't going to have Peter marrying his daughter. Yes, Peter appears rich. I bet that is crown money. And his inn, which he started with crown money. But presuming you're referring to the great houses ruling the kingdoms as lords paramount, the poorest is clearly House Greyjoy. They do not so, and it shows. They live on a few barren islands and fish and pirate for sustenance. They try to play off their destitution as a strength, with their iron price and all, but it's bluster. Another poor house is, House Reed. As far as we know, they don't have a maester. They don't engage in much commerce. Most of what they eat is from the natural environment like fish, frogs, etc. So they are materially poor, though they are self-sufficient. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.